Good morning, good morning, good morning. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas morning uh, and day 31 of giving up sugars for life. Right, just had a nice lie in and uh, just got up. Uh, got to go to family later this afternoon, but uh, just get myself organised. Uh, once again, absolutely rock solid sleep all through the night. I think I had at least seven hours, possibly eight it was uh, really, I don't even remember a thing about sleep last night. It was that deep. So really good. I'm just going to sort myself out with a coffee this morning. I'm debating whether to do the new decaf or stick with my usual caffeinated beverage in the morning. I can't remember why I went over to decaf. I, I'll have to look back through some of my videos. Uh, but I remember at some point a few days ago saying that I was going to switch to decaf. There must have been a reason for it. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, I'm going to uh, grab a coffee and uh, I'm gonna, I've got a few presents. So I'm going to open my presents and uh, just have a mellow out. And also I've got to edit yesterday's video as well. And I'll get all that done before I head off this afternoon. But uh, I'll grab the camera as and when. I'm not going to be taking the camera away with me, but I'm sure I'll get a photo of me at uh, my dinner if I can remember. But uh, so far, so good. Still on the wagon. Haven't had any mishaps in regard to, you know, sort of falling to temptation. So that's obviously good. The real test will come this afternoon when I'm at family and no doubt there'll be chocolates everywhere and mince pies and all the rest of it. But hopefully, touch wood, I'm absolutely determined to stay the course. So there we go. Right, I'll catch you momentarily. Right, there we go. That's the Christmas presents opened. Did quite well this year. My sister, bless her, she, she just bought me two. She just literally turned up at the doorstep. And she bought me two massive, great big tomahawk steaks and a beef Chatham brand. Chatham, I've not heard of that. 30 day matured beef Chateau Briand. A premium cut renowned for its tenderness. Okay, so I'm going to give that a try. I'm guessing one of these will have to go in the freezer. I'm pretty sure I've got enough room, but uh, I may have a go at uh, a tomahawk steak. Uh, either it won't be tomorrow it'll be the day after because tomorrow I've got the kebab meat planned I've got a new book take the slow road England and Wales uh, inspirational journeys around uh, England and Wales and I've got something I've never ever heard of before not quite sure whether it's a thing or not but um, it's called a Tesla purple plate and it's uh, it's kind of supposed to be like this weird uh, kind of cosmic energy thing um <laughs> I'll have to look into that. Uh, not sure what that's all about. Got some classic Star Wars socks. Uh, got some body wash and got some chocolates and some coffee syrups. Uh, <clears throat> maybe a little while before I can open them. So did really well. Uh, like I say, off to me brothers uh, this afternoon for Christmas dinner. But all good. I'm quite happy. Better go and sort these steaks out before they uh, before they warm up. Guess what? Somebody forgot to make the end of their video yesterday, so uh, I'm trying to make up for that today. Today is Boxing Day. Uh, yesterday I started making a video, and then life just basically got in the way, and I completely forgot to do the uh, the end of the video. And to be honest, I had a such a forgetful day yesterday. There were so many things I'd forgotten. But uh, hopefully we're back on track again today. But yesterday's uh, Christmas dinner was absolutely really enjoyable. Um, I just basically had a plate of meats uh, with family. Family had, you know, all the trimmings and everything. And I must admit, while I was eating this delightful meat, it, it was um, turkey, it was pigs in blankets, it was ham, it was gammon. And it was absolutely fine. It was perfectly adequate. And although everyone else had, you know, the all the, the gravies and the roast potatoes and all the veggies, as I was eating this meal, I could see those other foods and I really didn't fancy them. It's, it's quite bizarre. I didn't miss them at all. And at no point did I think, oh, I wish I could have had one of those roast potatoes. Um, so in that way, it's really good. And I didn't feel like I'd missed out in any way, shape or form. As far as drinks went, I had some bottles of that carbonated Buxton with me. So I was drinking carbonated water. Uh, family was drinking uh, fizzy wine. 
And once again, I did not feel in any way, shape or form that I was missing out. I was still part of the, you know, still part of the event of Christmas dinner, did not feel left out in any way, shape or form, like I was missing anything, not at all. So that's a really good plus. And I'm really glad that I stuck to my guns and just decided to just eat the meat. Because if I had decided to go all in and have all the trimmings and everything, I know I would be regretting it today. And I'd probably be having all sorts of stomach issues and, and, and problems and looking back thinking, well, to be honest, for the cost of having, you know, those roast potatoes and all the veg and everything, the benefit from having those extra things just, just wouldn't have been worth it, you know. But I'm really pleased that I stuck with my guns and just had the meat and I'm absolutely got no regrets at all the next day. I don't feel like I've missed out in any way, shape or form. Now, when I got home, I decided to order the kebab meat for today. Today's Boxing Day and I decided I will have kebab meat today as a kind of a treat, but I also want to check to see whether I'm okay with it because then it's a potential treat for the odd occasion in the future. So I ordered it last night thinking I wouldn't have any problems with delivery. I'm, I was assuming everybody would be doing takeaways on a Boxing Day, so I might have to wait hours and hours for it to be delivered. So I ordered it last night and it actually came like within the hour, which is really good. And I actually had a little bit of the Donna meat last night and I have to report that it wasn't as big a treat as I'd anticipated it to be. It just tasted like meat. I mean, it tasted like lamb. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't unpleasant, but it wasn't the, the mind-blowing treat that I thought it was going to be. Anyway, I've got the rest of the Donna Kebab meat that I'm gonna to have today. That's gonna to be my main uh, meal today. And no doubt you'll get to see that in tomorrow's video, which I'm recording today, because today is Boxing Day. And then you'll see that video the day after Boxing Day. It's all very confusing, this uh, going back and forth in time. So that is it for this uh, Christmas Day video, which to me was yesterday. <laughs> I'm recording the Boxing Day video today, which you guys will see tomorrow. Um, but uh, so thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Until then, take care.